Hello, my name is Mitchell, and today I'm going to be talking about the passing of John Lewis. So, John Lewis is a U.S. representative representing my state for a very long time, and on Friday night, he died at the age of 80. So, it is said by his family, it is with inconsolable grief and enduring sadness that we announce the passing of U.S. Representative John Lewis. He was honored and respected as the conscious of the U.S. Congress and an icon of American history, but we knew him as a loving father and brother. Of course y'all knew him as that. Of course. And I bet he was a good father also. He was a stalwart champion in the ongoing struggle to demand respect for the dignity and worthy of every human being. So it was not just black people that he was fighting for. It was everybody, every human being of every race. He dedicated his entire life to nonviolent activism and was an outspoken advocate in the struggle for equal justice in America. He will be deeply missed. That's what his family said. An interesting fact about, an interesting fact about him is that he walked across the Selma Bridge, the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma, Alabama, for equal voting rights back in 1965. And he was the first to get hit by the police. And as a result of him being hit, he suffered fractures to the skull on the back of the head. So I give him a lot of respect for that. I bet if he and I bet if a lot of civil rights activists weren't marching that day, I bet people like me wouldn't be able to vote. So he died the same day as C.T. Vivian, who was 95. And the dual deaths of both of those people come as the nation is still grappling with racial, with racial upheaval in the wake of three people who were murdered by the police. We got Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, and Rayshard Johnson. I think that's his name, Rayshard Johnson. So with those, after those deaths came the Black Lives Matter protests, which I took part in. Thankfully, it was nonviolent. And I would hate to be part of a violent protest because violent protests make no sense. Just protest in peace. That's why I would say. And I think it would be better. Actually, no, it will be better if we just protest peacefully. So one more thing. So House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said in a statement at the time that John John Davis had John's name. John Lewis, excuse me. So at the time John Lewis passed, Nancy Pelosi said this. Today, America mourns the loss of one of the greatest heroes of American history, Congressman John Lewis, a conscious of the Congress. And that's what she said. So let me know in the comments on what you think about John Lewis. He made an impact. So just give me your thoughts. Okay, I'll see you later.